Hey y'all, so I am getting ready to head out of town again. So I am just getting my bag, my work bag packed. I packed my suitcase earlier and it's kind of a last minute trip to do some training over controls. I kind of leave like my travel toiletries and certain travel items just in the bag. So it's pretty easy for me to get packed and ready. I have some like wet wipes that I am trying to keep out and about so it's easy to get to. This is my Dagny Dover. I think it's a, I think it's a large. If I'm wrong, I will put it on the screen. I have like a list that I made on my phone to help kind of like my little checklist when I'm getting ready to go. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know why I'm like this, but I always like to try to like clean my apartment before I go. I don't know why. Anyways, let's go. I'm going to Austin and Houston. but let me show you my bag. So the Bay's bag, as always, I have my two packing cubes. One cube is with my work outfits. The other one is with gym and like leisure outfits or you know, like lounging outfits. This is my dirty clothes bag. First get this out. I need to get one of Juju and Brew, but I always have my little picture for my nightstand. And here are my toiletries, makeup, shoes, and that's it. Ready for bed now, but there was one thing I wanted to show you guys. Sometimes I have a hard time shutting my brain off, and I've been like this before, but it's gotten worse over time, and as I've gotten older, or maybe as my responsibilities have grown, um, and sometimes I'll just like have so many like to-dos just rolling around in my mind even once I'm trying to like log off from work. So something I've been trying to do is um, writing them down. I got this cute little notepad on my last trip to Atlanta. I just jot down quick to-dos. So I'm thinking about all these meetings I need to put or emails to send out. So like, All right, I can't think of anything else at the moment, so that was helpful. So at least I know I will not forget, and so I'll have it next to my bed in case I think about something else. And these are my favorite kind of pens, by the way. I have like them in almost every bag. Let's see how Brew's doing. He is, of course, awake and barking. My poor guy. Good morning, y'all, so I'm getting ready for work. It's about 5.40. I have to leave the hotel at 7.30 and then we're doing training um, at the office, like providing training over controls and stuff like that. Um, processes and controls. Can we grab some breakfast downstairs when they open up? We're staying at a courtyard, which I like courtyards. Um, I really like their avocado toast, so I'm going to get that and probably bring it up here. I'm gonna get ready and then I'm gonna just start working. Set up some meetings and stuff like that that I need to do with other work streams that are going on. So what I'm doing is fun because I feel like doing training and like providing what the requirements are for controls purposes. Very early on in my career, I worked in like internal audit uh, or at SOX for um, a company and um, also because of like I had just started my career I was like maybe three years into my career. So I was just doing SOX testing, but also it was kind of like a company that had been public for a long time. Um, 
and whatnot. So I just did the regular socks testing or recurring socks testing. And um, I didn't really, I wasn't really involved in training at all. So um, in like after I left public accounting um, and have been in like internal audit and industry, this has been pretty um, the norm for the jobs that I've had anyway. So um, I think if you find internal audit jobs um, that, especially for companies that are either about to go public or who are private and who want to go public or are newly public, like basically going to companies where that framework and that structure isn't already like already set up, you'll get a lot more, I feel, exposure to um, things like this, like where you have to go to operations at times and teach them about SOX requirements and um, and depending on like the internal audit department that you're in, sometimes they separate the two or sometimes you can be involved in both operational and like SOX specific. So anyways, it's a lot of fun. Like, I, I think it's fun. I really like I like having a mixture of both because I like learning about businesses and how people do different things. So, um, yeah, it's, it's neat. Making this coffee, I was just thinking that I probably, maybe I should like put one of those like powder creamers in my, <laughs> in my travel bag. I don't know. I'm going to get coffee later on too, but I need a little something to get me going. Oh gosh. That will get me going. Okay. I'm going to hurry up and make this. I'm just wearing a blouse. This is from New Look. Jeans are Abercrombie and then some flats. So, and then I have my little shacket thing that I always throw on. I have made it now to Houston. Last location for us to do training tomorrow morning. Been working while we're in transit to here. So I'm kind of tired, but I'm going to meet my boss to talk through some more things. I can't talk right now. I'm just like, my brain is over it. I am staying at another courtyard and y'all know the drill. A new place, another bed to check for bed bugs. Let's see. Put my phone on it already. I'm gonna tell how tired I am. Looking good. Whew, I need to get out of these shoes, y'all. My feet are like huge little sausages right now after walking around the airport. Hi, Nicole. I would like to get in a workout tomorrow morning at one of the gyms I had gone to before, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Um, <coughs> I'm getting a tickle in my throat and allergies or whatever the heck, so. I'm gonna go ahead and change into something more comfy and then go work some more. All right, y'all, so I am back at my room now. It is about 7.15 and I am sitting down to finally eat some dinner. I did some work, met up with my boss and we were finishing up a few things and then I was trying to finish up a few things. Pretty eventful day. So I went to a certain location with my boss to give training to people about basically their responsibilities in the process so it was both accounting and operations and you know a lot of internal audit and internal controls focuses on the accounting impact and what accounting in particular is doing a lot of other things in the background that's happening in operations that eventually affect the financial statements and it's so important for everyone really to understand how what they're doing is impacting other teams within the process and so that is part of what I do as part of my job. You get to see how the sausage is being made and that's for me really interesting and really cool. Y'all will reach out to me about, you know, fears of AI taking over the audit industry and things like that. You know, there are so, so many companies out there who are mom and pop shops or who are growing in their business who aren't sophisticated to the point where things could be automated. So there is still a need for that and especially a need for people who understand how, you know, operations eventually affect accounting and the financial statements. So 
anyways that's what i was doing today was doing training around that and sharing exactly what was their responsibility versus accounting's responsibility and then we came from austin took a flight to houston um and it's just been a mixture of a lot of talking and training and then also a lot of travel and you know just trying to get things wrapped up and taking meetings while we're in the car and things like that so it's been a day and i'm tired so but i wanted to share too because it's not all glamorous so i'm here having dinner right now and i'm sitting on my bed and i'm going to be watching some hulu because all i want to do is veg right now i want to watch some bones but this is the glamorous life of being an internal audit sometimes but for real so i'm just getting a bistro burger with some sides and i'm gonna watch a little bit of tv just to chillax a little bit so yeah so here is my travel day outfit i am i was working this morning so didn't really get to catch up with you guys but i'm gonna head downstairs to get going this is a loft blouse i'll probably roll up the sleeves same jeans and then keds since it is casual friday So I made it into my hotel, staying at the courtyard in downtown Wilmington. So y'all know, a new hotel. Okay. Yay. I'm going to get unpacked, and then um, the plan is for us to be doing walkthroughs at one of our office locations. So mapping out processes from start to finish for various ones. Here is how I packed this trip. I did a little bit heavier than I normally do, but in here is my little pouch undies. I have my Turby Twist in here, tights, things like that. This packing cube is my work clothes packing cube. So I have a couple pairs of jeans because it's a little bit more casual here. I'll wear like jeans with heels and blouses. This one, I did all my workout clothes and like mainly workout clothes and a couple of like loungewear things. There is a gym nearby, so I'm gonna be going to that in the morning, probably next couple mornings. Two pairs of shoes, I have my booties and then heels in that one makeup, toiletries, and things like that. That is my carry-on. Are gonna get tired of some of the outfits that I wear because I have I really I wear kind of the same things chilly here so I'm wearing a sweater um, this skirt fingertip test approved my halogen bergen booties I'm gonna to have to get a new pair because they're starting to fall apart I've had them if you guys have been watching for a while I've had them since I was traveling to Europe for my last two jobs ago <laughs> so anyways okay so I'm gonna head out now Wednesday morning and I'm gonna do a little bit of work before going to the gym kind of difficult when you are traveling and doing site visits and things like that because you know while you're here or while you're on site you want to take advantage of being here and talking to people and you know things like that other parts of the job things need to continue to move along it's been a really good um, trip learned a lot about our business but yeah it's been really quick too so anyways i am going to just get to it and focus i made some room coffee <laughs> Yum. 